Bob Ross. Is that name familiar? Without a doubt, many of you conjure up an image of that iconic curly-haired artist. Perhaps the same thing happens when you hear the name Wilson Bickford, minus the curly hair. The producer of his show, Tracy Duflo, took some time between takes to talk to the nationally known artist and shed some light on his national fame. Wilson Bickford is a household name for many. Wilson Bickford's show, Painting with Wilson Bickford, is seen on PBS stations across the United States. He has an international following too, with fans as far away as Australia. Fans in northern New York and Ontario might be surprised to know that this world-famous artist grew up right here in Governor, New York, and still calls the North Country home. Well, I still haven't really gotten used to it. Um, you know, people tell me, you're, you're kind of a big deal now, and I, I don't see it that way. I just don't. I'm, I've said it from day one. I'm just a guy who likes to paint. After graduating from high school, Wilson did what many do. He got a job. Well, I worked at the Governor Talc Mining Company, and I started there in 1978, and I worked there until uh, 2003, so I was there 25 years. But I'd been doing art since 1990. I, I've always been interested in art. I started doing it as a kid, but I never really got serious about it until about 1990. And that's when I started doing painting and entering some of the local uh, art exhibits and shows. And I actually started teaching in about 1991 or 92. People were approaching me, they'd see my artwork hanging in a restaurant and they'd say, can you show me how to do that? And that's how I got started with it. I never dreamed I would become an art instructor. From there, it's just been a fantastic journey right to this point. Over the years, Wilson has built up a reputation as an art instructor. It's become a very lucrative career for him. His goal, to get everyone to recognize their creative side. I think what stops most people from uh, attempting art or a lot of things in life is just the fear. Fear stops people from doing many, many things. Um, how many Kenny G's and how many Eric Clapton's are out there that pro could probably play just as well, but they've never picked up an instrument and tried it. So I think it's very important to just get in and try. Um, so I try to instill that in people and let them know that uh, they can do it. You can do this. It's a learning process. You don't have to be born with a skill. You learn it. It's a learned skill. It's an acquired skill. It's not an inborn talent. And that goes for art, music, and just about anything else. And speaking of music, Saturday nights might find the multi-talented Wilson playing in a local band. Yes, yes. I'm a musician too and have been. And I, I'm the type that's uh, not afraid to try something and never have been. Uh, I can play guitar, I can play banjo, I play a little bit of keys. I, I've always been a, a take charge type of guy that is, if you tell me I can't do it, I'm going to say, watch this, hold my, hold my drink, <laughs> I'm going to do it. Wilson's television program showcases his talent and often his sense of humor. Did you hear about the two balloons that were floating through the desert? One balloon says to the other, look out for the cactus. And the other balloon says, what cactus? <laughs> well, I try to inject a little humor into it because uh, I've seen a lot of uh, art instruction that is kind of uh, very serious and they tend to talk over the people's heads and, you know, describe the art techniques. I like to keep it fun and light and everything very, very uh, fun and... Uh, <laughs> not too, uh, too nerve-wracking, you know? So uh, I, had, I have a lot of people write into me and they say, uh, they tell me that. They say, you make it fun and it's enjoyable. I can follow what you're saying because you describe everything fully and there's no gaps. I'm not left hanging. Even though I try to be funny and uh, put some humor into it, I'm still getting my point across as far as the lessons so people learn about perspective and contrast and all those art principles. Um, art can be very uh, intimidating a lot of people are afraid of it because they don't understand it. So I try to just do it in a lighter mood and it's easier for everybody to relax and enjoy themselves. Painting with Wilson Bickford, produced by WPBS-TV, is now in its seventh season on most PBS stations. Earlier this year, Wilson filmed 13 new shows for season eight, which will be released in the winter of 2022.